guys welcome back to the channel so before we get started I wanted to show you guys this insanity so I have pretty much all of my dolls up in their boxes right now the reason why is because I'm moving really soon here and I don't really want to have everything out all the time I'm trying to pack stuff away as quickly as I can but that means a lot of them will not be in upcoming videos until I move and these over here are the dolls I'll be using a lot more in the near future so for the next month or so, these are the dolls you guys are going to see a lot of and I'm kind of excited because honestly I don't oftentimes focus on specific dolls or others and I think it'll give me a really good chance to kind of focus on them. So let's get into the video. So today's video is kind of something I've done several times in the past but I have a lot more people watching me now and I also have opinions that have changed or new things that I've thought of and things that I want to talk about so it's kind of an easy video to do it's interesting because it's an opinion video and I just really love doing these so today we're talking about things I'd love to see from AG most of these things are just little features or just things that I personally love and want to see more of obviously not everyone is going to share the same opinion that's totally fine but I find them interesting and I know a lot of you guys do too so let's start talking about some things I want to see from AG. So to start us out for today we are going to talk about something that I find to be one of the cutest features a doll can have which is freckles. I absolutely love dolls with freckles and I feel like AG doesn't do it nearly enough. They used to do it a lot more frequently but lately they've really kind of steered clear of that and I'm not really sure why. I find myself that even when I make customs I usually will add freckles because it just adds so much personality to a doll especially if they don't have the most unique features um, that being said I want to see more of Mia and Grace's freckles I love their freckle patterns and Kit is super cute too so her freckles are always great but just more freckles in general like I just I can't get enough of them and I hope that that's something they continue to do in the future so this next one's kind of specific, but I definitely want to see a dark skin just mold added to the regular lineup, whether that's through the Girl of the Year line or the Truly Me's or historicals, or even if they add it into the new line in the fall, I definitely want to see a dark skin just mold. And just in general, I would love to see more skin tones with kind of face molds they don't usually go with. American Girl tends to pick a skin tone with a face mold and kind of stick with it, but I really want to see them kind of branch out with that, like what they did with 80, because I think she's stunning and I want to see more kind of interesting combinations like that. So another feature I would love to see on more dolls is pale blue eyes. So Nikki here has very light blue eyes, lighter than most dolls I've seen and it's pretty noticeable in person but not as much on camera. Another doll with really pale icy blue eyes is Kirsten and both of their eyes are just stunning and so pretty but I don't often see them in more recent dolls. American Girl tends to kind of go for a darker blue now even when it says that it's light blue and those are pretty too but I really loved this eye color and I want to see it more in the future because I feel like they kind of let it go. So this next thing is not really about doll features but more so about something American Girl's doing that I really like and that is release countdowns. So right now on Instagram there is a countdown for American Girl's release on May 4th. They've never really said what it is. There's obviously leaks and spoilers and people have theories and there's probably we know what's gonna happen but we don't know for sure because AG hasn't said anything but there's a countdown so you know when it's coming you can let the anticipation build. There's a community around it. You can share theories and just get really excited and I love that and I think it's so much fun it reminds me of when I used to get excited for the girl of the year every year so I really hope they do that all the time because I think it's just it's something really fun the next thing I want to talk about is adding more create your own options. So they do have a ton of options for create your owns and you can pretty much get as creative as you want, but there are a couple things they've never given us options for that I'd like to see. And those main two things are different eyebrow shapes and different freckle patterns. Now I understand why they don't do that because they probably have all these dolls laying around that have this skin tone with this face mold and this freckles, but if they had more options, I know that'd be more complicated, but even then I think it would be so much much fun to have that choice so I'm not sure how they would do it realistically but I definitely see that being such a cool thing for everyone especially for people who have different eyebrows or different freckle patterns so something else I've been noticing lately is that AG is by no means afraid to go bold with their hair color choices. They've been doing purple and blue and pink and all of that. So the question I really have is why have they never gone for something that's not necessarily unnatural colored, but something that people weren't born with. So what I mean by that is, you know, ombre hair fading from brown to blonde or a doll with brown hair who has blonde chunky highlights or just things like that. Maybe like dipped black ends, whatever the case 
jokes may be, they clearly do like going for something a little bit more crazy, so why do they always stick with either natural or bright rainbow hair? There's obviously a demographic for that bright rainbow hair, but I think there would also be a demographic for something like highlights and ombre and that kind of hair because it is something that I feel a lot of people really enjoy. This next one kind of ties into the whole blue eye thing, but this is just in general adding more eye colors. So even if they're not options on the Create Your Own website, I would love to see just more interesting colors they haven't used before. They've really been leaning on hazel a lot as of recent years, and I would love to see them try out maybe like a different hazel, um, even a doll with eyes that kind of faded from brown to green to blue. I think that would be really cool, and there are people that have eyes like that that they've never really catered to. So just having some more options, I think, even if they just have it in a couple of dolls, would be something really interesting for a lot of us to see. This next one's probably the one I'd be most excited to see, and that would be if AG started to use the Grace, Leah, or Luciana eyebrows more often. So the first time I ever saw Grace, I just, I loved her immediately, and a big reason for that was because of her eyebrows. I had never seen a doll who had eyebrows like mine, I had never seen a doll who had kind of thicker with the same shape, and even though her eyebrows were a lot lighter than mine, I really liked that, and I think it's important for people to see just dolls and just people, figures in the media or whatever it might be that remind them of themselves and I think it's so cool to have that whether it's skin tone or eye color or freckles or hair texture it's just so important and I want to see them kind of represent more people like that. Something else I would love to see would be more combinations for the Addy Mold. Having different skin tones, hair colors, hair textures, eye colors, I feel like most of the dolls available at American Girl at the moment with the Addy Mold all do share quite a few similar features. I really enjoyed number 26, how she had, you know, very striking features that were a little bit different. I would love to see them kind of explore more avenues and options like that because I think Addy is such a gorgeous mold that doesn't get used nearly enough. Plus, most of the Addy molds that have been released have since been retired, and I would love to see more with maybe hazel eyes or with kind of a lighter hair color or even interesting eyebrows or freckles or just something really fun because she's so pretty. Now, this next one is something American Girl has to be aware of. I have no idea how they might not be, and that's that they need better create your own outfits. So most of the outfits they currently have are pretty young looking. They're really not that cute, and I know most people are not a fan. I really only like one of the, I think, five options available right now, and the one they released recently is probably the worst of them all. Now, I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's aimed for a younger demographic, but one of the first outfits they ever released was not girly at all and yet it was probably the best seller they've ever had. It's the one people are trying to sell on eBay that everyone really likes and it's for sure my favorite they've ever had so I'm not really sure why they haven't made anything similar like it since it was such a fan favorite and I'm hoping they release something similar to that because I really liked it and I love to get my hands on something like it with the beanie and the boots and everything. Now say what you want about Leah, but something I really loved about that doll was how unexpected her feature combination was. No one was really expecting to see a blonde doll with tan skin and hazel eyes, but she was so stunning and striking, and I think a lot of people loved her for that. That's why she's known as being so photogenic. And I think American Girl should continue to kind of challenge themselves to create dolls that could actually, their features could be in a person, but also it's not something they've done a million times because I think that's a really important thing for a doll to be kind of iconic and to really, I don't know, impress people. So I'm hoping they continue with the unexpected feature combinations. And this last one is one I never thought I'd hear myself say, which is that I want to see dolls with more full bangs. So I want to see dolls with Samantha or Gwen or number 52 bangs. I feel like they oftentimes will go for the side bangs, which I don't like as much. And they've really been shying away from full on bangs for a while. And I'd love to see them on different molds. So Jess, Addie, Josefina, even Joss or Marie Grace, like a doll with bangs with those molds would be really cute. So I hope they do that at some point. Well, that's all I have to talk about today. I will hopefully have another video out on Friday. I'm planning on placing an order tomorrow morning, like I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. And I will be doing unboxing videos for whatever I get. And hopefully just more interesting stuff about moving. So I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!